Hello and welcome to Paper Play with Julie K. Thanks so much for stopping by and spending some time with me. And today I am just sharing with you real quick the project that we will be working on. I do have a tutorial for this and it was part of a design team project for Angel Dream Crafts. It is an altered file folder that I created into a pocket and my plan is to use it for a journal. So I will be housing a journal inside of the pocket, but I just wanted to show you what the final project looks like. So if you guys want to stick around and watch how I created this, um, please stick around. I'd love to have you guys. And I did cr and create this little embellishment that hooks on to the pocket in the back. And then also this top piece does come off. And there's a little doily along with that little piece. And I do show you how to make both if you in the tutorial. Supplies that you will need for this project include a file folder, scrapbooking paper, a vintage image, hair clips, or if you don't have hair clips you could possibly use some sort of binder clip or paper clips or bobby pin. You will need a basic supply kit that includes items such as your scissors, glue, adhesive, paper cutter, ruler, etc. You will also need laces, trims, doilies, appliques, bling, flatback pearls, and seam binding. Many of these items you can purchase at Angel Dream Crafts on Etsy, and I will have a link for this below in the description box. And you may also need a sewing machine, but this is optional. To begin with, you will need to cut a file folder down to size. You can make it any size you want, but be sure to leave the fold in place at the bottom. The width of my cut folder is seven and a half and the height is nine inches. Since I like the look of rounded edges, I also take the time to round the corners of the file folder. I use one of the scrap pieces of the file folder to create a pocket piece for the back, measuring seven and a half wide by four inches in height. But again, you could create this to whatever size you wanted. Since I wasn't 100% sure yet what I wanted to do, I also stamped randomly a script stamp onto my file folder and pocket. But in the end, I do end up covering this with paper, so you could very easily skip this step at this point. I also inked the edges of my file folder and vi a vintage image. I do ink several images as again, I wasn't sure which one I wanted to use in my final piece. I decide to add scrapbooking paper to my project. I cut it about one fourth inch smaller than my file folder. I also cut a piece for the back pocket. I again ink the edges and round the corners. I also distress the edges of the scrapbooking paper with a distress tool, but you can also get the same effect by using the edge of a scissors. In case you're wondering, I am using La Trevita paper from Chao Bella. Off camera, I take the time to sew on the scrapbooking paper and back pocket. I then glue the sides of the pocket shut. Make sure that you do not glue the top shut. You also have the option of sewing your pocket together, but unfortunately my sewing machine does not like to go through this many layers of paper, and so I just end up gluing the sides together instead. Now to start decorating the file folder pocket, I start with this exquisite piece of Venice lace from Angel Dream Crafts and attach it with Fabri-Tac glue.
Next, I decided on an image for my focal piece and attach it to a piece of felt for stability to use in my project later on. I then attach three layers of lace to the bottom of the pocket folder. The white dangle lace is a snippet from my stash. The Venice trim I tea dyed and sprayed with ink spray before filming to get that vintage look along with a hint of sparkle from the spray. The beautiful Venice trim and embroidered lace are from Angel Dream Crafts. I then attach eyelash trim to the back of the image using Fabri-Tac glue. I try to arrange the eyelash trim so that the fibers hang off of the outside of the image. I also attach the image to the folder. I decide to use this stunning applique from Angel Dream Crafts to frame the image. I do this by cutting it apart and using pieces of it around the image. I do play around with the pieces a bit and once I am happy with the arrangement, I start to glue them in place. In the end, I do add more of this applique to finish framing the image.
I add more of this gorgeous embroidered trim to the top over the Venice lace. I cut up more of the applique to finish framing the image. I love how easy it is to cut up this applique and make it work for my project. I take the last 3D flower piece from the applique and center it on the embroidered trim at the bottom. I also attach two pieces of pearl and rhinestone bling from Angel Dream Crafts. Next, I finish off the front by adding flat back pearls from my stash to the applique.
I also add a few pearls to the embroidered trim at the top. I then begin decorating the back side of the pocket. I start by adding more of this exquisite Venice lace. I attach more of the embroidered rose trim in a champagne color at the top. I also add flat back pearls to finish the look. I add a second layer of bead trim from my stash to the bottom layer of Venice trim. I also add a piece of vintage lace from my stash to the top of the pocket. Next, I create a detachable embellishment for the pocket. I start with a small circle scrap of material and glue on a piece of tulle. The next layer is a piece of tea dyed Venice trim followed by a piece of white rose dangle trim. I then attach two flower pieces that were cut off of a trim to create a layered flower effect. All of these trims are from Angel Dream Crafts. I also add my last piece of rhinestone and pearl bling to the center of the flower. Finally, I glue on the hair clip, being careful not to glue the hair clip shut. For extra reinforcement, I also attach another small piece of scrap material to the inside of the hair clip. The embellishment is finally finished and I then attach it to the pocket. I also decide to make a detachable closure for the top of the file folder pocket. For the base, I use an embroidered doily from Angel Dream Crafts. I add a messy seam binding bow, cut up flower trim, and a gold and rhinestone brooch from Angel Dream Crafts. You do see me try out a few pieces of bling before I make up my mind to use the gold and rhinestone brooch. I put this piece together by using the clasp of the brooch, running it through the flower trim and seam binding. 
I then glue the bow to the hair clip the same way as I did the previous embellishment. Since both sides will be visible on the folder, I also decorate the back side of the hair clip with pieces of the flower trim and a flat back pearl. I add one final touch of a small piece of flat back pearl trim to the top of the image. I hope you enjoyed this process video of how I created my first altered file pocket folder using design team supplies from Angel Dream Crafts. I love how all of these laces, trims, and appliques blended together to create a gorgeous vintage style pocket that will be used for a journal in the future. I will leave a link in the description box for Angel Dream Crafts in case you are interested in checking out her shop. Thank you again for stopping by and checking out my latest video. Until next time, have a wonderful day and happy crafting.